Hey guys, how are you today? A little video on mega fuses, guys. I'll show you down here. Okay, that's a mega fuse holder. Okay, you use these on things that are very, very high current use. Things like inverters, winches, anything that is very high current. So here's a mega fuse here. That's a 200 amp. There's a 400 amp mega fuse. I think you can get them high as 500 amps, guys. You can make up one of these. These are, these are quite expensive, these holders. And especially if you're mounting them somewhere they're not seen. Okay, guys, to do the job, okay, I've got two bolts. These are about 35 mil long, okay. Four nuts, okay, four washers, a scrap bit of wood. I've got the mega fuse itself. Get a size of how big you need your block of wood. Okay, so I can make two. This is a piece of 70 by 35. There's my mega fuse to get a sizing of where I need to drill my holes. Put a mark where I need to drill my holes. Got a block of wood with two holes in it. Yeah, that should fit. Beautiful. All right, let's take that back off. This is where the fuse will go. So I'll need to countersink this end in. So I'll go about a third through the block of timber. So I'll get a 13 mil bit. This is a 13 mil drill bit. I stuck a bit of tape just to give myself a bit of a depth gauge. Then my countersunk holes I've just done. So I put my bolts in now. Now I'll put that back up on the vise. Grab the trusty hammer. A good old bolt serve as a punch. So I'll punch them down. I have punched down my bolts. Let's grab one of your washers, put it on each bolt. So there we have it, our fuse. Now on this side, get some silicon guys and fill this hole in. Fill it in with silicon because this post will be live. Just to be sure you don't short it out. I'm just gonna whack a couple of bits of foam in there. I'm out of silicon at the moment. There's your fuse holder. Now you're putting your, your cable lugs on. Okay, guys, you tighten that all down and nice. Okay, and then time you, you have, this is your cable. This will be heat shrinked, this will be heat shrinked. You just gotta insulate this. You can put a bit of insulation around this. That's no problem at all. But guys, there you have a mega fuse holder. Now on the side, I will cut a couple of bits of aluminium. These are the brackets. Just bend them out with a hammer. There it is there guys, your fuse holder. You can put something over it. Make yourself a little cover for it. But guys, as I said, if you're not seeing this, it's no biggie. I'm just doing this video to save you a few bucks, or especially if you're out in a remote area and, and it's gonna take you a while to get one and you need, you need one fast, you can just do this sort of thing with things laying around. I hope this video has helped you out. I needed um, three of these. I bought one and I thought bugger it, I'll make the other two because they will not be seen. This one will be seen. That's why I bought this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.